All right, welcome back uh, to Super Adventure Game Time. We're playing Full Throttle again, <laughs> and here we are. We went, uh, we got through that secret passageway, and we entered Malcolm's office and got like a tape. Let's see here. What do we get? Got a tape, the pictures, this film. I don't know Holy motors. Something. Whatever. And then we went back to this room. So let's check out what's in this Dilio. Locked. Because that room's locked. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. Oh man. That would suck. <laughs> Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans though. Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security! <laughs> Help! Security! <laughs> what took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it! Manus must be saying things. Mm -hmm. All right, so we don't want Mavis to see us. But I have a feeling there was a projector in there. Gotta get, like, the film and the audio tape over there. It's locked. Oh, that's what this is. It's a card. We'll put that in here. Cool. <laughs> What is this stuff? I'm after a lot of soul searching. Lamp lever. Motor level. I need to get Mavis out of there. It's locked. Maybe we just gotta maybe we gotta interrupt it so Mavis gets out. So what's this? This is motor level. What the... What the hell is going on up there? I'm on it. Just a lamp adjustment. Be fixed in no time. Uh... Yeah, yes. Mm. As I was saying... I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. <laughs> okay, so we'll go back in there. We gotta do it so it permanently gets me us out of that other room. Maybe. Okay. It turns the light off. Turn it up all the way. 
Ay, ay, ay. This is intolerable. I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh. Okay, I gotta do that a little fast. Yeah, uh, yes. Back to the presentation. Not again. Not again. <laughs> Readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, uh, yes. Where was I? Alright, I'm not sure what we need to do. Let's try this once more. Maybe leave the motor on slow off and then have this on twice which is the only combination we haven't done what you see before you right now is my vision for Corps. all right oh perfect this is a disaster you're telling me some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, I'm out of ideas. Sweet. All right. Now it's time to put stuff in its place. Aha! Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. Ah. Hello there. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Rimberger. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh. I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? <laughs> I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that, Tate, from one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where do you hobble off to? <laughs> uh -oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. 
Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, oh. speak of the devil. Come over here, Dad. That's great, Ben. We're finding where we were meant to be all along. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Hmm. Don't stand. Complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. Oh no!
Damn. Busted. Okay. Uh take off. Uh, in flight. Emergency, military crisis, self-destruct, um, engine failure, power loss, hmm, oh, maybe, since it's got tires, yeah, oh, oh no! Good idea. Try the original idea. I'm gonna raise the gears. Here goes nothing. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Then what did you do? Classic. This is like some Uncharted or Die Hard stuff going on. Ben! Ben! Are you alive? I am, but I don't know about Rip Burger. I can see him. He's out cold. No, he's not! Climb back here quick! Ben. I'm taking you and your friends with me, Ben. All you're taking is the wrong kind of medication. Hmm. Guess we've got to deal with Rip Burger. Can't reach him. Aha! Computer stuff. This vehicle has been reported as stolen. Okay, let's see what's the main menu. More menu stuff. Oh, <laughs> weight zero pounds. Temperature sixty four degrees. Vital signs no vitals. Okay, engine. Start engine. Oh man! Do not start the engine. That's bad. <laughs> I gotta do that part again. Let me try that again. No kidding. Oh sweet. Okay, well we're over here. Ben, climb back here quick. On. Engine menu. Do not start the engine. Defense menu. Activate detached trailer. Ah, you know what? He's hanging on the machine guns. S system off. Yes. Dude, that would be scary. 
scary as hell. Run! Wait, come back! We need your weight in the plane! Try that again. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> blah blah blah. Find back here quick. Defense menu, machine guns, control system off. Falls down. Looks the license plate. What does it say? Hi to Oz. <laughs> okay. Anyways. How poetic. So this is gonna blow up. Wait, come back. Tip over. I can't run out. Bike out. Inspiration to us all. Oh. He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. <laughs> Father Torque. Awesome. Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. So... So? Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next I week. I think they like each other. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion and riding around in limos, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben... Oh, just a second. Don't pick up the phone. Oh. What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. Oh. Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Great. There goes Ben, riding into the sunset. I guess that's the end. Um, pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. 
like I said, they had planned to do a sequel for this because it had such a great reception and you know has a pretty big cult following and people just love it. Um, but like I said before in that first uh, episode, that it just never came about. Too many things got in the way. Plus, uh, um, what's his name? Roy Conrad died, which is a shame. But, you know, I hope you enjoyed watching, and, you know, I think for our next video, well, I'm not even sure what we're gonna play, what I'm gonna play next, so, well, hope you come along for the next one, and, yeah, I will s talk to you then, or talk at you. Bye.